Make certain the tape is free of damage, and the tape and the object to be measured are both clean. Wrap the tape around the object to be measured. Slide the tape back and forth so the tape is wrapped evenly on the part to be measured. Tighten the tape around the object with 5 pounds tension for outside diameter tapes. The vernier scale should be just below the gauge scale. Each line on the gauge member represents 25 thousandths of an inch, while each line on the vernier scale represents 1 thousandths of an inch. Locate the zero on the vernier scale and note the highest value achieved on the gauge scale above it which is the highest value to the left of the zero. In this example, the value is 19.675 inches. Next, observe the vernier scale's value at the point where it lines up exactly with a marked division line on the gauge scale. In this example, the value is 9, which represents 0 .009 or 9 thousandths of an inch. Finally, to obtain the diameter of the object, simply add the two values together. 19.675 plus 0 .009 equals 19.684 inches. As a suggestion for checking very large diameters, pieces of masking tape can be used to hold the tape in the proper parallel position. In many applications, magnets can also be used. When not in use, wipe the tape clean and apply a light rust preventive oil. Store the tape in the canister provided.